మనం ఏమనుకున్నాం అంటే ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ ఫర్ యూ టు గ్రో యూనిట్ హ్యావ్ గోల్స్ రైట్ యూనిట్ హ్యావ్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ యూనిట్ హ్యావ్ యూనిట్ హ్యావ్ థింగ్స్ యూనిట్ హ్యావ్ మెకానిక్స్ కావాలి విజన్ కావాలి ఆ విజన్ అచీవ్ చేయడానికి ఒక మిషన్ కావాలి అని చెప్పి అనుకుంటా ఉంటాం బట్ ద మోస్ట్ క్రిటికల్ కాంపనెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ ఈస్ పీపో ఇట్ ఈస్ పీపో హూ మేక్ ద విజన్ హ్యాపన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ పీపో హూ మేక్ ద మిషన్ హ్యాపన్ ఎప్పుడైనా ఆలోచించ కంపెనీస్ ఎలా డెవలప్ అవుతాయి హౌ హౌ డూ హౌ డూ ఆర్గనైజేషన్స్ గ్రో హౌ డూ ఆర్గనైజేషన్స్ గ్రో ఎనిబడి ఎనిబడి ఎలా డెవలప్ అవుతాయి ఆర్గనైజేషన్స్ కంపెనీస్ ఎలా డెవలప్ అవుతాయి ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ పీపుల్ మేక్ కంపెనీస్ నో బడి ఎవర్ మేక్స్ కంపెనీస్ దిస్ ఇస్ అన్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ దట్ వీ నీడ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ యూనో మనం ఏమనుకున్నాం అంటే ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ ఫర్ యూ టు గ్రో యూనిట్ హ్యావ్ గోల్స్ రైట్ యూనిట్ హ్యావ్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ యూనిట్ హ్యావ్ యూనిట్ హ్యావ్ థింగ్స్ యూనిట్ హ్యావ్ యూనిట్ 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 మెకానిజం మెకానిక్స్ కావాలి యూనిట్ మిషన్ మిషన్ విజన్ కావాలి ఆ విజన్ అచీవ్ చేయడానికి ఒక మిషన్ కావాలి అని చెప్పి అనుకుంటా ఉంటాం బట్ ద మోస్ట్ క్రిటికల్ కాంపనెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ ఈస్ పీపో ఎవరండి పీపో ఇట్ ఈస్ పీపో ఇట్ ఈస్ పీపో who make the vision happen it is people who make the mission happen although now for example if there are no people who would work that is the reason why in genesis 2 we see god did not send the rain yet because there was nobody to work and take care of it and we see that in genesis chapter 2 adikana rendu adhyayam lo chustam em anante akkada pani cheyataku narudu lenanduna వర్షము భూమి పైకి ఇంకా రాలేదని చెప్పి ఉంటుంది యూనో గాడ్ వాజ్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు సెండ్ ద రెయిన్ ఆన్ ది ఎర్త్ వై బికాస్ దేర్ వర్ నో పీపో ఎవరు బిల్డ్ సే పీపో రైట్ యూనో యూ డోంట్ బిల్డ్ ద బిజినెస్ యూ బిల్డ్ పీపుల్ దెన్ పీపుల్ బిల్డ్ ద బిజినెస్ మీకు ఆ విషయం అర్థం కావాలి యూ కెన్ నెవర్ బిల్డ్ బిజినెస్ యూ బిల్డ్ పీపుల్ హూమ్ డూ యూ బిల్డ్ దిస్ వెరీ క్రిటికల్ ఫర్ ఈస్ దర్ ఎనిబడి వేర్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ అండర్ యూ people are under you who work under you yeah right if there are no people under you how will you make things happen impossible got it impossible agada it is impossible you can never make things happen without people manushul lekunda edi cheyalam that is the just understand this the mic can't be here without people the lights can't be here without people nothing on earth can be without people that is what we need to understand and you know what jesus built people jesus didn't build an organization jesus built people whom did jesus build hmm this is a very critical point for you to understand jesus did not concentrate on building an empire through a building Jesus only concentrated on building people. Man jaradaga gamaniste Yesu Prabhu a 12 mandi shishulu dabithe ink evarni build cheyala. Did he build anybody else? Nobody. All he did was only build 12 people. Aina chesina 23 nara samacharala pani lo the only thing that he concentrated was to build 12 people. How many people? Jarthu aalochinchandi the most intelligent man ever on earth the most wisest man ever on earth the one who even laid the foundation of the earth he did not build a building he built people ardha avutunna manake ee bhoomi puna desina aina manushulu kattadu organizations kaadu the point is jesus was always concentrating on the 12 disciples and you know what he was giving them he was giving them his mind everybody say mind you know when people move mind moves your greatest asset that you can ever have is your mind everybody say mind again building people means making them as instruments that are useful for the future generation my dear brothers and sisters today how many of you are useful in the in your organizations that you're working in how many of you are are useful in the family that you are born to are you being an asset to them or are you being a liability to them just think about that chala saarlu manam em marchipotam untam ante we think that 
you know, this life is there to enjoy. No, 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 no. This life is there to enjoy. How do you enjoy this life? You enjoy this life by becoming an asset to the people that are around you. Hallelujah. Everyone knowledge in general vision? You know, the company wants to keep you more and more when you are useful to the company more and more. If you are not useful, people would like to be far from you. Today my question is, building people means building the future generation. Are you able to understand that? Or is it too high already? Building people and TNT. How do we build people? You build people through encouraging them. You build people. You know, you can plan and strategize. You can, you can expand or scale things up and you can, but who, do, who does all, these, all those things? It is people who do all those things. Manushil lag bode enye galam? Jarad gamanin chanin, manushil lag bode boom ni yavar choos kuntaro. Simple point. Okay, there is a super point at the Akashan Yusera, Din Yusera, sorry, Jantul Yusera, Pul Yusera, Gadin Yusera, what Avitavu, Koyu, Yenchevu, Kariwatni, Avajus Kondaro. The father, the father takes care of them. The father takes care of you, but it is your responsibility to take, to take care of the earth. Hello? Are you understanding? The father is doing his responsibility, but what are you doing? This is a very critical component that we need to understand. If you really want to grow in your life, if you're if you're like, I don't want to be saddened or I don't want to be burdened, I'm telling you, you need to start thinking like this. This is how I start started thinking when I was 16, 17 years old. Then 16, 17 years old, start chasing God, I want to be an asset in the place that I am. You know, if there is not even one interview, not even one interview that I remember that I have not cracked. After finishing my master's in the year, uh, I think 12, 13 years back. Why? Why? Because every company that I went, I knew what they want and I knew that I would deliver the best for them. Who, who, so today, just ask yourself one question. Do people want me or do uh, or don't they want me? Just ask yourself this question. Do people want to be with you or do people don't want to be with you? Our question in the current through that question you can know whether you are an asset or a liability. You know, for example, when a man walks, like when I'm walking. What do you think is walking? A man is walking is what you think. But when I'm walking, my mind is walking. You notice that? Mind. You know, the greatest asset. Jordan the Jarth Walachin today, Jesus Christ Anni Prakanbite, see, he was concentrating on the twelve disciples. Anni Prakanbite said, Paninamani Mada concentrate chase said. You know, the question that he was asking was, Who do you think I am? Last law. Before he was uh, you know, uh, uh, going on to the Calvary. Jesus Christ was asking this question, who do you think I am? It was the test of his life. I did question. So today, my question is this. If you are thinking of growing, you need to think of developing. You know, why do you think I, I chose to have a church? Why do you think I chose to start a church? Why? Because I thought this was a great platform where we can develop people. I thought this was a great platform. Every church that I've seen, not every church, most of the churches that I've seen, there the, 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 the people were not growing. The people were not being blessed. What I can see, the world was being far more blessed than the people in the church. The people in the church, they were becoming more and more sheep. They were becoming more and more dumb. They were only being trained to be followers. They were never being trained to be leaders. Are you understanding something? But here, this is exactly what I wanted to do. I want you to become leaders. Everybody say leaders. leaders. But in order for you to be leaders, you need to become, you need to think 
like a leader okavela oka sheep lion laga think chesthe dan lion antara sheep antara lion e antaru ade lion sheep laga think chesthe dan em an pilustaru sheep if a lion thinks like a sheep my dear brother and sister the lion will start eating grass you know we are not designed our natural instinct is to be a leader ardhotna meeku leader anagane never think of having followers i'm going to tell you one key before i i close this service today but the only reason why our church is running is because we are building people through this place you know every every person that comes over here at least most of them i hear them saying pastor i am blessed through your sermons pastor till now i was not able to understand how to manage money now i understood how to manage money i was not able to understand how to take care of the family but now i understood how to take care of the family i did not understand the the term of authority but now i enjoy authority i did not understand what responsibility is but now i en- understand and enjoy what responsibility is i never understood the way to be blessed but now i understand the way to be blessed. these are the messages that we hear today we say that we are building people around us but are we really doing it is my question mara anta unta i am a blessing to my family i am a blessing to my neighbors i am a blessing to my church i am a blessing to my pastor i am a blessing i am a blessing i am nu anukochu but are you really being a blessing is what my question is idi vere angle nunchi chuddam vere angle nunchi ela chuddam ante employees perspective nunchi chuddam you know giving the employees perks manchida kada it's good enduku vallu motivated ga unchutadu right for example if there is a bonus for you will you be happy or not yes definitely definitely everybody will be happy but the point is let's say i'm going to give you oh i, I i'm going to say a brother pardu uh, i'm going to give you a perk let's say you are working in my organization i say i'm going to give you a perk okay and uh, i say wow pastor super then i say what is the perk ah you know what i'm going to give you a free yoga class are the perk ah but isn't it an expense to the company definitely you need to have a yoga instructor you need to have a place for that you need to have ac you need to have a calm environment the the company spends money in creating that environment but that isn't a perk for him <laughs> so the point is we need to understand giving the right perks hallelujah you know we need to give them the right perks the perks that they need not the perks that you want to give say amen you know offering them what will be helpful to them is important not what is helpful to you ha edo ichesaala perks hey chundi enta spend chesa so what so what actually the the folks at google 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 telsa andarki andar vaartar google ikkada unnala andar including the children right google was pondering upon this question and what they discovered is amazing what they discovered is actually what jesus did telusukovali anukuntunara Google you know they spent crores of money to discover this point you know what it is giving what do what is the greatest thing that we can give to the people and japa alochincharu and this is what they discovered one on one coaching it is not house it is not money it is nothing one on one coaching the greatest perk that any company can give to somebody else is one on one coaching a leader training a disciple disciple tra- tra- training on the google law. every manager has a responsibility to train at least one person and mentor one person closely 
it is not money it is not money it's exactly that's what everybody thought when i said you know this is what they discovered not money not house nothing edo delsa one on one coaching it is there you can simply google it you'll find it one on one coaching the personal touch of coaching is the key for a successful company em undalanne personal touch manandarki we you know some of us who are working we all have been through that orientation program join in vetne our company is this our company is that to thopu turumu ani cheptaru this is your manager he is going to take care of you this is your team leader idi idi cheptaru but even though all this might exist the structure might exist if there is no one on one coaching you are not going to gain anything my dear brothers and sisters today this is the greatest thing that ever that was ever done by jesus christ all he did was one on one coaching everybody say one on one coaching yenti one on one coaching the personal touch of coaching anamata ante i do not simply say you tell you do this do that do that i sit with you and i watch how you do it if you are doing some mistakes i correct you if i do something i i tell you this is not the way it should be done this is how it should be done you know what is that called it is called mind training ardhavutunda what is that called mind training training your mind you know most of us when we started the 40 days of prayer in the morning most of us in we found it really difficult in the beginning we really found it difficult to get up you know to wake up to come to make ourselves but slowly after 21 days after 23 days what happened your body automatically wakes up you automatically sleep by 8 o'clock you automatically get up by 4:30 in the same way this is you know when we started the soul soul food on friday morning how many people were there two or three people were there slowly the number started increasing why because people found it really good people found their questions being answered ikkada em avutundante what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to give you what you require if i teach you um um uh, how jesus did the miracle at the at the wedding how jesus turned water into wine that's something which you can't understand i can't understand if i try to explain you how jesus walked on water you can't understand i can't understand but the point is this there are certain things which you and i can understand ardhavutna and those are the things which we need bible andike clear ga cheptundi there are some mysteries which you need to leave it to god alone the point is we keep on holding to those mysteries leaving the answers that we can get from the bible my dear brothers and sisters we need to leave what is unnecessary we need to hold on to what is good amen the point is we sometimes hold on to things which don't come our way why do you want to hold on to those things which never come on your way remember giving the right perks antena right perks isthene kada man motivated ga untam alage man mind ku kuda manaki edaithe avasaramo vaatne ivvale అనవసరమైన దాని గురించి ఎందుకు హలో లూయా లేదని చెప్పండి అనవసరమైన దాని గురించి ఆలోచిస్తావా లేదా ఈ గదిలో కూర్చున్న నైంటీ పర్సెంట్ నైంటీ నైన్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద పీపుల్ యునో హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద టైమ్ దే స్పెండ్ ఆన్ థింకింగ్ అన్నెసెసరీ థింగ్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఐ యూస్ టు థింక్ యాజ్ అ చైల్డ్ అరే వై ఇస్ ద సన్ సో హాట్ ఐ మీన్ లైక్ వై డు ఐ కేర్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్స్ హాట్ ఆర్ నాట్ ద పాయింట్ ఇస్ ఫస్ట్ ఐ నీడ్ టు స్టార్ట్ టేకింగ్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ మై సరౌండింగ్స్ all right so i'm going to give you five points today especially to all the people who are thinking of becoming leaders all right who are thinking of establishing great empire or companies i'm going to give you five points today the personal touch of coaching is the key for a successful company and in that chapter the personal touch of coaching is the key for anybody to run any organization any company so the first point in that is this hire fewer people hire fewer people 
You know what? How we can translate it? For the people who are thinking of having many friends, have fewer friends. The point is we try to make friends with everybody. That is what is hurting you. You try to make friends with everybody. You try to make friends with that person, this person. You try to be nice with everybody. You know what happens? Why? You want to be nice. You want to be likable. My dear brothers and sisters, have fewer people in your life. Jesus only had 12 people. And out of them, even out of the 12 people, one person betrayed. The only, there are only two people who are really close with Jesus, James and John. Among the 12 disciples. You know, if you can have one friend whom you can trust, you did good. Do you have that one friend with whom you can trust with your life? My dear brothers and sisters, the main point is having many friends don't, doesn't give you anything. Remember? Giving you the right perks. You need to have the right perks in your life. A friend in need is a friend but the point is we always try to gain more people why do you want to gain more people the second point is this give recognition and show appreciation give recognition and show appreciation whoever is doing a good job give recognition to them appreciate them appreciate what they did recognize the work that they did that's what we need for example isn't that what we need Exactly, that's what we need. But when somebody is doing their work, why don't you appreciate them? They can be your colleagues. They can be your boss. Even if, even if your boss does a good job, you need to tell your boss, boss, you did a good job. The point is, we never focus on that. But that's what we need. If that's what you need, the Bible clearly says, you get what you give. You sow what you reap. I mean, you reap what you sow. Don't you reap what you sow? Exactly. So today, you need to start focusing on recognizing. Everybody say recognize. You know what recognize means? Cognize means thinking. Are they not? Cognize means thinking or your mind. Re means going back to the original. Recognize means that. Appreciate means the value is increasing. You know, simple words. The Bible clearly says, sweet words are healing to your body. Kind words are healing to your body. Just question yourself. Are you, are you speaking kind or are you being dangerous? They never know how to appreciate it. They never know how to appreciate that morning peaceful time. Have you ever realized the morning that you wake up is a blessing. You need to start appreciating it. Never think, why, why did God create this morning, man? Your morning is a blessing to you. Hallelujah. Your evenings, your nights are a blessing to you before you sleep. You know, my, my nephew and my brothers and sisters are, are here from Vizad. You know, every evening, we are spending quality time with them. From the past two weeks, for almost 10 days or 14 days, every evening, you know, we gather together, we have dinner together, we spend time, we don't watch TV while having dinner, we eat together, talk for some time, relax, enjoy the time. Then, that is when we all do something together. My dear brothers and sisters, the community that you create is really important. The culture that you create is really important. Recognize and show appreciation. The third point is this. Set clear expectations. What is that? Set clear expectations. Do you have clear expectations for yourself? You also need to have clear expectations for yourself. You need to set clear expectations for yourself. You know, you need to give them a clear line of sight. and Kanti kanabade goals evale. Call them kanti kanabade goals yastar. Are, you know, we need to do something. We need to... Yedo chayali, yedo chayali. Yen chayali, Yedo chayali, yedo chayali, ante. My dear brothers and sisters, 
If you want to grow in your life, you need to have a clear set of expectations. Clear set of expectations. The fourth point I want to give is this. Don't demotivate. What is that? Don't demotivate. Udaharan ki yavarena yavan chatpan yaste vantne maara kwaabba jasad. What do we do? We, we demotivate them. My dear brothers and sisters, stop demotivating people for their mistakes. Tell them it's okay. You know, they feel as bad as how you feel because they, have, they are not able to produce. You already know that. So why do you want to demotivate them? Why do you want to destabilize a growing relationship? The fifth point and the final point I want to give is this. Help people come up to their strengths. Help people come up to their strengths. You need, you need people to come up to their strengths. Today, are you helping people come up to their strengths or are you demotivating people? Are you demotivating them or are you helping them come up with it? I'm going to show you one scripture from the Bible. Today we are going to talk, talk about that and close that. John chapter 1 verse 35. Yohanu Madhra Dhyamu Mopedanichi Maniro Chudam. The next day, John was there again with two of his disciples. You know, God is talking about John the Baptist. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. All right? So I'm going to stop over there and I'm going to ask a question. Tell you what I'm going to ask. Yohan. 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 And Jesus was passing by. Jesus was simply walking or going somewhere. John looked at Jesus, his cousin. And Jesus, he said to him, look, the Lamb of God. They started following Jesus, the two disciples of John. Now, I want to ask a question. Just did Jesus ask the disciples to follow him? No. Was there a situation where Jesus was telling, hey, come follow me? No. The disciples chose to follow Jesus. What do I mean by this? This is what I mean. Great leaders. Never seek followers. Hallelujah. Jesus never chose people to follow him. People automatically followed Jesus. Hallelujah. This is something which you need to understand. You can actually relate this with the principle that I always teach. An egg broken from the inside and an egg broken from the outside. If the egg is broken from the outside, what is if the egg, same egg is broken from the inside, exactly, new life. In order for you to become a leader, you do not seek people from the outside. You automatically become a leader from the inside. How do you do that? You do that by following the five, five things that I have told you just now. You do not actually need people in order to satisfy you. You are satisfied with yourself. Amen. Niko, if the man should also let any satisfied yet and get quantum money, where a man should have such potter. Ma, in my chin, never sort of potelaga, then chasing puny out of sort of potter. No chasing puny out of sort of sort of ledo. Do you know Michelangelo? Michelangelo, the greatest painter, he is equal with Picasso and you know, guys like that. Michelangelo never worked so people could appreciate his work. 
Picasso never drew because people could appreciate him. He drew it for himself. When, when are we going to understand this? I do not prepare messages so people can like it. I prepare messages so I myself will be satisfied. Hallelujah. I do not work so I can satisfy somebody else. I work for myself. This is an important key you need to understand. You need to start working for yourself. You don't work because somebody should uh, give you a report. You do not, you do not, you do not do things so that somebody will see it. We always do things because somebody else is watching us. చూడండి జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ ఏ పని కూడా అమ్మో ఇది చేయకపోతే నా ఫాదర్ ఏదో అంటాడని చేయ చేయలే చేయలే జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ ఏమన్నా తెలుసా నా ఫాదర్ ఇది చేస్తున్నాడు కదా నేను కూడా ఇదే చేస్తాను he automatically was drawing his energy from the source today my question is are you drawing your energy from your source out of fear or out of respect jarthu kalachinchandi manaku unde ante that is the culture that we are trained in that's the reason why i said the greatest asset that a mentor can give to his disciple is his mind his mind my dear brothers and sisters today are you waking up because ammo or are you waking up because wow alochinchandi are you are, are you doing things because ammo are you doing things because wow i really want this you know yesterday uh, we are uh, we 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 are uh, repainting a school bus okay that we bought recently a school bus ni a painter tho actually sadharana ga nenu ever there ki illa kare sare vaar tho bear maatam ishtam you know i like to bargain yeah uh, for example walu 10 rupayalu ani chepte enta ki takku ga vaste anta because i am a person of efficiency so enta takku ku veelaithe anta takku cheyalani cheppi isam but i never compromise on the quality again i don't want like cheap things when i met this guy the painter the way he spoke was excellent actually the way he spoke he said sir i am going to paint your bus excellent fine really good you don't worry this is what i'm going to charge i was like are you going to do an excellent job he said yes sir i'm going to do an excellent job all right okay fine do do an excellent job do an excellent job i'm not going to bargain with you and actually my assessment of him was actually 100% true endika endukante this guy not only scraped off all the rust outside the bus this guy also scraped the rust that is inside the bus and he was giving me advice sir if we paint all these things white and all these things i think the bus will look fantastic it will look brand new that's an idea which i never got the point is how much money are you going to pay for that idea it is invaluable are you understanding the idea that he gave was invaluable you cannot assess with money why because how can you think of painting the bus inside also some parts of it the point is this when you start working your heart out appreciation will automatically come now did i bargain with him no he asked sir extra money de do hum aur bhi extra excellent kaam karenge sir you do it i'm going to pay you the point is you if you work for ammo money is never going to come but if you work for wow blessing is on your way hallelujah you know i i'm also teaching vocals for a girl when i'm teaching vocals i'm only looking at that perfection i'm not looking at time pass i'm not looking at passing the time i'm looking at training her in the right way when i come 
When I spend my one hour, I'm making sure that she gets the best out of me. Why? When we do that, you also refine yourself. You know, the quote that I was using last week, and Brother Joseph Prem Kumar, he said, Pastor, that's, that's, that's the quote that I have on LinkedIn for myself. What is that? An iron sharpens iron. If you want you to be sharp, you need to be, pe you need to be with people who are sharp. The point is this. We don't like people who are criticizing our work. Criticism should be taken so you can become sharper. Amen. But not people who always criticize. They, they are sadists. People who can really talk about your work. People who can really talk about things. This is not good. That is not good. You know, if you make this better, that will work out. If you are peop around th these people, they will always make you better. But do we really like people like that? You need to start appreciating people like that. You need to say, brother, because we, you know, Joseph never complained about his brothers. Do you know that? He never cried because of his brothers. Joseph, he, those, those brothers were just a blessing for him. Without those brothers, he would have never become the prime minister of Egypt. Hallelujah. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, you need to understand this verse clearly. Okay, now let's go to the next verse. When the, the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Jesus Christ never asked these two disciples to follow him. Verse 38, turning around, Jesus saw them following. Tony, turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, what do you want? What do you want? Simple, straight question. What do you want? I want to close with this question today. What do you want? Niku, what do you want? 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 What do you If I ask this question, you know, the. the Venten and Akoke answer us today. Under the Nijeda Delsa, Nagandi, Nako Hilo, Bangala, Karu, Ah, Karthoran, Pano, Drive Shanko, Driver, Ilanta Sobran Yahani, Arava, and then Elapusista Elapusista. It's just an okay. Point in and ten, God even takes care of those drivers. He loves them the same way He loves you. So He doesn't want their life to be ruined. And the You need to understand this. The question that Jesus asked was very, very simple. What do you want? Today, if I ask you the question, what do you want? Do you have clarity about that? The third point, set a clear set of expectations. What is that you want? Do you know what you want? scientist life law. Because of the culture. Because of the culture. Because of the culture. Because of the culture. Because of the point is, we need to understand what we want. If you do not know what you want, you are going to end up in a circle. Remember the story of Martha and Mary? What did Jesus say over there? He said, if you want to be great, you actually need to do few things. As a matter of fact, you need to do only one thing. One thing. The point is, you need to become a master at one. My dear brothers and sisters, the same question I'm asking you, what do you want? What do you want? Can you answer that question? <laughs> what do you want? Ah, pastor. Write what you want on a piece of paper, store it. Just look after it, look, look at it after one week. Marinda Marleda. 
మారకుండా ఉంటే గుడ్ మారిపోతే యూ నీడ్ చెక్ యూ నీడ్ గో బ్యాక్ గో బ్యాక్ గో బ్యాక్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ యూ వాంట్ బట్ ఇయర్ బ్రదర్స్ అండ్ సిస్టర్స్ టుడే ద రీజన్ వై అవర్ లైఫ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ సో గుడ్ వి ద రీజన్ వై వీఆర్ నాట్ ఎంజాయింగ్ అవర్ లైఫ్ ఈజ్ బికాస్ వీ డూ నాట్ నో వాట్ వీ వాంట్ అంతవరకు ఎందుకు రెస్టారెంట్కి వెళ్ళి ఏం కావాలనేసి మనకు తెలియదు ఏ రెస్టారెంట్కి వెళ్ళాలో తెలియదు అందుకే మనకి ఏ రెస్టారెంట్స్ ఎక్కువ అయిపోయి తెలుసా అన్నిటికన్నా ఏ రెస్టారెంట్స్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటాయి చెప్పండి పింక్ అక్క చెప్పక ఏ రెస్టారెంట్స్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటాయి అన్నిటికన్నా చెప్పనా మల్టీక్యూజిన్ రెస్టారెంట్స్ ఏమండి చైనీస్ కాదు కొంతమంది చైనీస్ అంటే కాదు కాదు మల్టీక్యూజిన్ ఎందుకు తెలుసా మల్టీక్యూజిన్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది బికాస్ పీపుల్ డౌన్ డోంట్ నో వాట్ ది వాంట్ టిల్ ద టైమ్ ది గో టు ద రెస్టారెంట్ సిట్ ఓపెన్ ద మెన్యూ అప్పుడు కూడా అడుగుతారు వెయిటర్ ఇక్కడ ఏం బాగుంటుంది చెప్పండి మల్టీక్యూజిన్ రెస్టారెంట్స్ ఆర్ అ బిగ్ ఫెయిలియర్ యాజ్ అ మ్యాటర్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ వై హౌ కెన్ అ షెఫ్ బి an expert in multi cuisines okka cuisine lo vaadu expert avadani puttna appu nunchi chachipoyina varaku struggle avutadu the point is don't be a multi cuisine be a specialist amen hallelujah vaddu multi cuisine vaddu కొన్ని హిట్ రెస్టారెంట్స్ చూడండి హైదరాబాద్లోనే చూద్దాం నాన్ కింగ్ ఏంటి చైనీస్ అభిరుచి ఏంటి ఆంధ్ర తెలంగాణ స్పైస్ కిచెన్ ఏంటి తెలంగాణ అయ్యబుల్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ దే స్పెషలైజ్ ఇన్ వన్ ఏరియా ఇన్ వన్ క్యూజీన్ వన్ డెలి ఏరియా ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ రాయలసీమ రుచులు ఆల్ ద హిట్ రెస్టారెంట్స్ దే నెవర్ ఆఫ్ అ మల్టీ క్యూజీన్ ఇంకా తప్పక మనలో వచ్చి నా ఫ్రెండ్ ఒకడు ఉన్నాడు హీ రన్స్ అ వెరీ గుడ్ ఇటాలియన్ రెస్టారెంట్ ఇట్స్ కాల్ ఫ్లయింగ్ స్పగేటి మాన్స్టర్ తబల రాస తను ఒకసారి మెసేజ్ పెట్టాడు అనెస్ట్ వన్ గై కేమ్ హీ వాజ్ ఆస్కింగ్ బిర్యానీ సమ్ ఆఫ్ యూ డి నాట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇటాలియన్లో బిర్యానీ ఎలా ఉంటుందండి ఆ తబల రోసలో ఆయన మెన్యూ ఎంత ఉంటుందో తెలుసా ఒక పేజ్ లిటరలీ వన్ పేజ్ టాప్ టు బాటమ్ అంతే మహా అయితే టెన్ ఐటమ్స్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఐటమ్స్ ఉంటాయి అయిపోయింది ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ దాట్ యూ గెట్ దాట్ యూ నో వాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద బెస్ట్ ఫైన్ డైనింగ్ ఇటాలియన్ రెస్టారెంట్స్ ఇన్ హైదరాబాద్ ఇట్స్ ద బిజియెస్ట్ ఇటాలియన్ రెస్టారెంట్ ఇప్పటి వరకు దాన్ని బీట్ చేసింది నాట్ ఈవెన్ ఫైవ్ స్టార్ హోటల్స్ ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు బీట్ దాట్ వై బికాస్ దట్ గై ఆఫర్స్ ఓన్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఐ స్పెషలైజ్ ఇన్ దిస్ this is what i'm going to serve if you want it take it mana enti arre ee ochadu eeni satisfy chestadam ayina ochadu ayina satisfy chestadam ee amma ochindi ee amma ni satisfy chestadam ma pedda ani ilaga annadu ayina satisfy chestadu andike anta dabidi dibidi kalvi edu like shubhay from multi cuisine ayipoyindi turn to your neighbor and say don't be a multi cuisine Hallelujah. Pastor, so early in the morning, we did not eat and come. Why are you talking? We are not talking about multi-cuisine. My dear brothers and sisters, remember, multi-cuisine never works. Be a specialist. Be a specialist. Four Seasons is a specialist. They, they are a special, specialized organization in treating their customers. Today, what is your specialization? జంపింగ్ జా జంపింగ్ జాక్స్ లాగా మనం ఒక ఫీల్డ్ నుంచి ఇంకో ఫీల్డ్ జంప్ చేస్తూనే ఉంటాయి ఎప్పటికీ జంప్ చేస్తూనే ఉంటాం ఏంటి ఇది మారదు ఇంకా ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ స్పెండ్ వన్ ఇయర్ డూయింగ్ సంథింగ్ స్టార్ట్ స్టార్ట్ పర్స్యూయింగ్ ఇట్ బికమ్ అ స్పెషలిస్ట్ ద సేమ్ క్వశ్చన్ దట్ జీసస్ ఆస్క్ వాజ్ ఆస్కింగ్ హిస్ డిసైపుల్స్ ఈజ్ వాట్ ఐమ్ ఆస్కింగ్ యూ వాట్ డు యూ వాంట్ ఐ యూ గుడ్ ఇన్ మేనేజింగ్ పీపుల్ బీ గుడ్ అట్ ఇట్ ఐ యూ గెట్ ఐ యూ గుడ్ ఇన్ గెటింగ్ వర్క్స్ డన్ బికమ్ a specialist in it 
are you good good in graphics become a special, specialist in it if you are if you are good at something pursue it pursue it you know even though i am a head of an organization i i'm not a specialist in many things i am a specialist in only a few things i only know how to hire the best i only know how to take care of the people that are working under me i only am a specialized specialist in few things i'm not a specialist in many things today the question that i'm asking you is what is that you are pursuing what is that you are pursuing em kavali nikku em chestunnanu don't become a multi cuisine be a specialist amen what is the topic that we spoke today people build people yes it's leadership but danlo people build people people build people p b p okay adu gurtu pettukondi so you know for example you never work for an organization you work for people tell us you never work <laughs> what do you mean by you are working for an organization it's called working for an organization or a company means a group of people right company and entity yeah a group of people so you work for a group of people remember that so when you quit what are you doing you're leaving people you're not leaving an organization you know actually a concept devunlo ledu quitting is not there in god because god never designed jobs god only designed works that's something you need to understand god never designed jobs adige chudandi manaki sadharanamga man indian culture lo man oka company lo pani chesam ante chachi poyina anta varaku aa company lone pani chestam ipudu mari poyindi ee it gt raavadam valla akkade dan chutte man illu kattukuntam dan chutte man prapancham untadi right raithulu chudandi polam polam konukuntade ada polam untadi aa polam degiri illu untadi that they they design their life around it so you know what they work around it they never go after money they go after producing the best out of that land that's that's the way our mentality is that's the reason why you know uh, family you know origin family family no rest of them they never your work uh, is your family you need to treat like that treat it like that uh, that's the, re- the reason why there is no peace in many people is because of that they always like re din kana better em cha vastadi din kana better why don't you make your, the job the work that you're doing your home in that in japan you know hire fewer people hire fewer people make it their home you need to make it you need to be make able to make that your home when you when you make it your home that is when you will be comfortable when you're comfortable you'll start thinking how can i make it the best ardhaina the point is kashtalu ochinappudu lekapothe emaina samasyalu ochinappudu we need to hold on we need to hold on make it better make it better so these are two different cultures one is the world culture the the second is the god's culture in god's culture there is no quit adam chanipoyinanta varaku e pane e pane den kosam ite puttadu dan adhe chesadu he never quit eve always did that uh, cain and abel that's what they did look at everybody in the bible abraham that's what he did noah that's what he did david that's what he did they never changed their careers they never changed their work the work of line that's what they did today my dear brothers and sisters stick to our line make that the best amen with that we'll close today let's all close our eyes with a word of prayer i'm going to close it Dear Father, we thank you. We thank you for this word that you have given to us. We thank you for the teaching that you have done. Lord, we thank you for the five points that you have given to us. Lord, we thank you for the most important point which you said, great leaders never seek followers. Great leaders they never seek followers. They are a leader within themselves. they break from the inside they break from the inside oh my dear father today 
we come before your throne seeking your word of father lord we want to come before you so you can start teaching us start mentoring us just like how you were mentoring the 12 disciples mentor us of oh father lord thank you for giving us the holy spirit who resides in us so he can teach us he can mentor us he can tell us what to do oh my dear father we thank you for giving us giving us your image and your likeness we thank you lord for making us discover who we are lord as we enter this world as we go into this world of oh father lord let this world see the light that you have given to us that you have been to us we thank you lord we thank you for your glory for your nature that is within us lord as today as people are going back to their works today be with them guide them heal them make them be a great blessing to many people make them be an asset to the people that are around them in jesus mighty name we ask and pray amen may the love of the father the grace of the son and the communion of the holy spirit be with us for now and forevermore amen amen